we have with us national footballer Karen Forbes, but in a different spirit today. Karen, tell me about this book that you're about to launch. Well, first of all, I must say that I'm thankful for this opportunity. Um, the burden of this book is Woman of Substance. More or less, I always wanted to share my story. And I know everybody have a story, but not everybody chooses to share theirs. And I think this book is going to be a blessing in disguise unto others. Tell me about the contents of, um, of this book. What can we expect from it? Okay, so more or less with the book, you'll get like a mini bio of myself. But then I went ahead and had some provocative um, topics, such as whether leaders are born or made, and tie right back into the topic, which is woman of substance. It also has like um, USA uh, having to go through what they've gone through, and then Jamaica becoming um, the first female Caribbean team to be um, in the World Cup, even though we wanted to be that um, first female team coming out of Trinidad and Tobago to make it to the World Cup. But um, right now, I think this opportunity to release this book will give women an opportunity to, you know, strive. And that's the thing, you want to, you want to inspire another generation from this book, I'm guessing, as well? Correct. Um, and I think why I tie back in Jamaica and the U.S. is that the U.S. has been very successful, but they went through gender bias um, in some instances. But at the end of the day, it still didn't deter them. So, yes, I am just pulling them as a reference, but also to help you know, build the story around why people should, or women in general, should get up and, and not settle. Does it in any way talk about your experience from 2017, um, the experience that team had, and you know, how you all managed to get over that level of that, dis that disappointment? Definitely. Um, that is one of my most memorable moments with the national team because it will have a um, topic on positive and, and, you know, challenging moments with the national team, but still all tie back into, again, you know, my journey as a person. You know, what made Karen Forbes decide, you know, time to write a book? Well, um, I always wanted to do it while growing up. And uh, I was supposed to go back to Iceland in 2020 where COVID hit. And um, I thought that, you know, the Lord laid up on my heart that that was the time for me to go ahead and release this book because I think a lot of people need that motivation right now. And... I think this book could be that motivation for many young athletes. The message needs to get out there, um, and there are a lot of young athletes coming up um, and need to have a better mindset. And I think, again, this, this is, is really going to be a blessing in disguise. And I have been posting on my social media um, the message. The message is really to get the message out, the good news. The good news is that regardless of COVID, you could still do it. You could still become successful. It all has to do with you and your mentality and why you're doing what you're doing. So I think, you know, releasing this book now could really, really help, you know, rejuvenate that energy that um, young athletes need. And not only athletes, but women in general, or even, it doesn't even have to be about our gender, yeah? When is this book launched and um, how, person, how could person get a copy of this book? So right now I have tickets selling online at KarenForbes.com and I also have physical tickets where you can get it from me directly or you can um, contact me via Instagram which is KarenForbes14 or Forbes Forbes on Facebook. I'm just switching topics a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. The National Women's Team is back together. You all are working towards another World Cup campaign. There were mm -hmm. some changes with the coaching system on a very short notice. Tell mm -hmm. me what it's like now under um, Kenwin. Um, I think it's a really good opportunity being coached under Kenwin because, I mean, he played at a, <laughs> at a very high level and Premier League level. And, you know, that's one of the things that um, any footballer would like to do on, um, on a male perspective, if you understand what I mean. And um, him coming in with his experience thus far is really vital for the team. And we are just very much open and receptive towards, um, you know, learning what, what he has to offer. You know, places may say, you know what, he mostly coaches secondary school football. Why yeah. give a player like that, you know, with that level of experience or a national team? Well, I think everybody deserves a fair chance. And in order for you to start somewhere, you have to be given the opportunity. And I think um, he went ahead and did his qualification, which gives him a little drive um, and gives him 
you know, an edge over some of the other coaches. And I think this is a fantastic opportunity for him. And it's just for him to, you know, just gather the group together and hopefully we could buy into what it, what it is that he's trying to um, get out from us. Having this bunch back together, especially with, uh, along with some new faces, mm -hmm. what do you hope for this team? Well, like I would always say, you know, having the likes of May Lee, Arten Johnson, and Kimika Forbes, and Kenya Cordon and so on, um, back together uh, is like, it's, it's so important for us because we need some experience along with the youth. And I think that blend will actually help us um, moving forward. And right now, the energy and everything has been really good among the team. And what we're trying to do is not only accomplish this for ourselves, but you know, for the younger generations to come. And um, I think this is a really good chance for us to try to go out there and you know, make it happen. Karen, there's one thing um, as we wrap. What would you want this to take away when they read your book? <laughs> First of all, I think um, you have to know your why, right? And once you know your why, why you're doing what you're doing, you will be motivated to continue propelling. Because there's things like sometimes even if on your journey of achieving something, you tend to like um, think, oh, I'm not feeling to do this today. But once you know your why, your why will keep you going. And a lot of people said the sky is the limit, but really and truly there's no limit. Thank you so much, Karen. I mean, for having us in your home, keep it on Tobago yeah. as well. And all the best to you, but on the field and of course with your book. Thank you. No problem. Yeah.